Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. Time UFC Bantamweight champion, and he will go down DC as one of the best 135 pound fighters of all time. Across the board, people believe he's number 1A of 1 and 2 with Dominic Cruz. One of the best fighters the division's ever seen. A phenomenal wrestler, has very striking skills. The high kick that he landed on Kenneth Doral was something to behold early in his first UFC title fight. And then the finishing sequence in the second Doral fight was unreal. 20-something strikes in a row before the referee stepped in to stop it. Just a fantastic finisher and one of the best fighters 135 division ever seen. And of course, he had the two huge knockouts over Cody Garbrandt, but even the way he dominates perennial yeah. contender types like John Lineker and Rafael Asuncao, Dillashaw, when he has it all going, he is as tough an out as anybody at 135 pounds. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 17 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, T.K. Dillashaw. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, do not keep going. for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lands a big elbow there. That one was going to end the fight. Oh, he's, hey. dead. he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Now he's got the 
the Muay Thai plug. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attack without a shield on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is... Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's gonna take armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. Gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division.